When, when we discuss Smelly, who's somebody, a good friend of yours, um, who passed away, you know, rest in peace to Smelly. Um, right. Like I always say, you know, when someone passes away, you have a group of people who have so much positive things, so many positive things to say, but then you have a group of people who have negative things to say. Obviously, people who have issues with y'all, whatever, that's the first thing they bring up, you know what I'm saying? But before his passing, like, you're saying, like, ev everybody was kind of good at that point, right? Hell yeah. Now, I, I don't know how much you could get into it, but I know J-Dot, he kind of explained a little bit of what, what occurred that day. And then he's like, he tells the story how he kind of went home and he tells you like, yo, Smelly passed away and you thought was he was asleep. joking. Yeah, I was asleep. This is the time when I used yeah. to take Zans heavy. Okay. okay. So he told me and I didn't even think nothing of it. Like, I thought, he was, I thought it was a dream he told me. Yeah. I was just on mad Zans back then. I was with Smelly too, like a few hours before that happened. Yeah. It just started raining that day. And then we went to the train station type shit. He walked me to the train type shit. I told him, like, go home, bro. Like, yeah. It's raining. There ain't no point of being outside right now. But then it stopped. Like, when I got off the train, there was, like, no rain no more. And shit. So I, I was ready in the crib by then. Yeah. And that's when Jada got to the hood and shit. Gotcha. For me? Gotcha. You know, uh, again, I don't know how much you can... I, I know... A yeah, what was that issue know. about? You know? I ain't going to, like, say no names or nothing like that for me, but... It's just certain situations where niggas, niggas just be, niggas just be dumb, bro. Yeah. Niggas just find shit to do and it just be dumb shit to do for me. Yeah. And then when you in the hood, there's nothing else to do. You doing drugs, you doing other shit, you just, some niggas just own that so much, they don't even think nothing of it. Like, yeah. Shirley was one of them niggas. If you ask him something and he fuck with you, he gonna do it. Yeah. Like, he just a... Uh, uh, I ain't gonna say a crash dummy, but he was on that for sure. If you ask him whatever, he gonna be the first one. That, like he gonna be in front of you for that situation. Yeah, for a situation. Yeah. yeah. The, and that's the, what happened. That yeah. Happened. I don't know if you you know YouTube all these documentaries. Who knows what's going on? You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know if y'all see them. Do y'all ever see these documentaries? And what do y'all even think about them? Nah, things? I don't watch some documentaries. They don't even say niggas names right and shit they don't even say yeah. the hoods right they don't even know what they talking about bro yeah they you they know they saying shit from not even around the area like yeah they don't even know what they talking about yeah Dude, when i'm watching these things and, and obviously you know we don't know the story so we hearing whatever they saying you know they kind of say like something like he he i guess he sold a bike or yes, this, a like this is a story right he didn't sell no bikes. Okay. He didn't sell no bike, bro. He had nothing to do with no bike. That he just, Smelly is a loyal nigga, bro. He ride for the guys, bro. So it was a situation where a bike got sold. Something was wrong with the bike, supposedly, for me. Oh. Allegedly. And niggas tried to get the money back for the bike, for me. From, from dude that they tried to get it from, for me. Yeah. And the first one in line was Smelly. Gotcha. Yeah? And he was the one questioning the nigga, like, yo, ah, 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 ah. For me, swung on him, for me. Yeah. And, you know, rest after that. Gotcha. No, gotcha. I'm lying. j -Dot swung on him. And then Smitty swung on him. Yeah. Man, my son gotcha. j -Dot was there too. Front center. Gotcha. Yeah, I seen that shit happen. Gotcha. How, like, you know, I know that's like a tough situation to deal with as a, as a, as, at a young age. You know what I'm saying? Like, how did that affect you, j -Dot, and everybody around that area? What was that like? I know that affected Doc. That's different. Yeah, because he nigga. was there and Seems all that. Like, for me, check out like that. Shit, shit was crazy. I know he was. I know he fucked up from that shit to this day. Oh yeah. Me, yeah. I was fucked up from it. I'm still fucked up from it, but I do my music shit. Keep it. I know it's gonna keep his name alive. So for me, the same thing with Dog. We doing music to keep their names alive. Our followers, yeah. our people in our hood, our family. We doing this for them. For me. Yeah. So. It definitely affect the hood. Crazy though, like that's the most. I ain't gonna lie. Besides Junior Candle Lighting for me, yeah. RP Junior. That situation was crazy too. But besides Junior's Candle Lighting though, our Candle Lighting was like the most, like most, like we had mad candles on the block. Like mm -hmm. everybody was on the block. Like two thousand people, bro. It was the most I ever seen. Like the block packed like that. Yeah. The most news is out there. 
Everybody yeah, was yeah. out there. I, when I went to the block, I had no clue. Because when J-Dot came and told me, I was just sleeping. I was off Zans and shit. I didn't know what was going on. Yeah. I woke up, J-Dot was still asleep. So he couldn't tell me nothing for me. Mm, okay. When I woke up, I left my hood. I mean, I left my crib, going to my hood and shit. And I see mad niggas on the block, like 4,000 niggas, bro. Not literally 4,000, yeah, yeah, but, but from a far, I look yeah, mad. Yeah. Like, they're like a fucking concert, bro. Yeah. So I run over there like, what the fuck happened? See the news out there and shit. Everybody's like screaming, throwing up, we throwing up. Everybody throwing up our shit. Uh, I throw up this shit too. Like, I don't know what's going on. I'm just see yeah. a camera in front of me. I'm like, ah. And then one of the sits behind me screaming, smelly world and shit. And I caught on like. That's what niggas told me. Wow. I broke down and shit. Yeah, yeah. You know, the person, I don't, I don't know if you follow the story, but the person got locked up for it, there's obviously somebody took time for that, right? Mm, yeah, but he got locked up for a little bit, then they, they deported him. They deported him? Yeah, you running free right now, Dominican Republic. Oh, wow. See, I thought I thought the person was still locked up and all no, that. No, the person is nobody. Isn't this? And it's, it was somebody who used to live in the area, a regular person. And him and Smelly used to really be into it all the time because they used to dice. Smelly used to be the king in dicing. Oh. He used to take his money all the time. So he used to hate Smelly. So when Smelly wanted to dice, he used to tell him no like every time. No, 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 no. And Smelly always wanted to fight the nigga. I used to tell yeah. Smelly, leave that nigga alone, bro. Like. Fuck that nigga. You play dice with anybody else in the hood. Yeah. Fuck that nigga. He ain't get killed by nobody, bro. No, nothing. Just a regular civilian. So, so why is it like, you know, not to be disrespectful or anything, but why like the drillies always mention it? Like, I thought they it was... They know it's going to trigger niggas, bro. They, oh. we, we used to be cool niggas. And I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to say Smelly knew niggas from there because I don't know if he did or not, but Smelly was a disrespectful nigga, so... Like, for me, like, when Delala, when Delala died or whatever, for me, I guess, like, niggas from my side, like, probably him was one of them niggas that was dissing her crazy, for me. Okay. Like, me, I don't diss her. Like, I don't be mentioning Delala and nothing like that. Yeah. Certain, like, it's just certain shit that I want to do, like, because I know me. Like, I got more to this shit. Like, I don't know no female like that. I don't know no female, yeah. like, to be yeah. dissing my mans. And then, look, that happens. It's like, what you want me to say? Smoking you, like, nah, it's tweet, like. That's a fact. It's just what it is, what it is for me. Gotcha, gotcha. Wow, I didn't know that. Damn. You know, it's kind of like. Like, it's a lot of people, like, niggas smoke that, or niggas mention that I don't mention, for me. Yeah. I don't yeah. be mentioning niggas, like, I don't be smoking Lottie, I don't be smoking Naughty. Yeah. I'm not smoking but I niggas. see um, a lot of the, like, when we think about people who was rapping before, I think there's way more talent there, way more skill, even with the writing. Yes, yes. I think this generation is more, it's just, yo, I'm it's not going to just chaos. Yeah, yeah, chaos. Yeah, let me just, niggas want to see chaos and shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Niggas want to see bitches fighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Niggas want to see niggas just, shooting. Or, niggas want to see a lot of goofy shit for me. Yeah. I mean, it's entertaining for sure. It's definitely yeah. entertaining for me. But I question where is it going to, what's going to happen 10 years from now? That's like, what I'm how saying. How bad is it going to get? Like, like you like you don't want to, you don't want to see yourself in a grave or in jail. Word from up. doing too much for the internet. Yeah. Like, that's too much. Exactly. And then you got a little, exactly. you got a little bit of what you was going stupid for, and then you check out, and then you didn't even get a chance to really enjoy your shit. 